Hello, my dear folks. Welcome to the show, Jack Shaw on East West with G N E T V. The first week of the year went on busy, and、uh, this is the last day of the first week of the new year. And I wish everybody still a happy new year. Still not too late. Whole January we can say that. Yes, in wishing happy new year, we'd like to see what's happening around us once again. To see a clearer picture about what we're facing, to see a clear, clear picture about the challenges, the confrontations. Of course, there are always positive, more positive than negativities、uh, in our life. So、uh, today our topic is about、uh, policing and police officers. They're on duty. They're in danger, and、uh, well, their lives. Right now, talking about. The funeral last given January the fourth in New York, attended by、uh, officers all over the country, probably by Joe Biden, our vice president, by the mayor of New York City, and by so many, even some officers from LAPD. Right. So to talk about it, I have invited my good friend, Mr. Joe Gardner, and a runner. Uh, for public office, I wait for you to make the announcement. Right, Mr. Joe Gardner had been in service with、uh, Santa Monica PD for quite some time. I believe that was 25 years or 26, 27, 27 years. So he has accumulated enough information, enough experiences about how it feels to be a police officer. Right, so. Uh, Mr. Joe Gardner, welcome to the show. Thank you, Jack. Happy New Year, and Happy New Year to your audience. All right, very good. I'm very glad you make it out of your busy schedule still to come here to share your thoughts about the show, and to say hi to say Happy New Year wish to our audiences. We're so flattered. <laughs> the past week, there are lots of、uh, talks. From、uh, every corner of the country, about the funeral given to in order to、uh, Officer Wen Jian Lu of New York PD.、Right. Uh, of course, it's very sad,、yes. mm, very touching, and we see all all over on the news, on the paper, everywhere. So, what's your overall impression about one of your guys fell? Well,、uh, law enforcement is a tough job.、Mm -hmm. uh, those who perform that function for、uh, their communities、uh, know that they have to stand together. And、mm -hmm. um, you know, if, when an officer goes down,、uh, it's a whole community of law enforcement, the, the blue line,、mm -hmm. that comes together and、uh, and supports the families and uh, and uh, helps grieve、mm -hmm. uh, for the loss of、uh, of an officer on duty. I see.、Uh -huh. So,、uh, we all see the、uh, the funeral, and we have no problem seeing people showing their、uh, condolences to who passed away, who was killed, and also their thoughts goes with their families, and especially the new wed wife,、right. well, poor girl has to. Well, had to suffer the rest of her life, right? No,、mm -hmm. that's the sad part. That's the saddened part. However, over the news, over the report, the coverage, and everywhere, like I said, which is on TV, on paper, on website, on Apple phone, a smartphone app, we see the magnitude, the scales, right? Rather than normal, it goes kind of tends to be out extraordinary. Yes. So, do you think that's anything a special funeral? And somebody even called a national funeral to that kind of standard. So, what's your comment on that, please? Well, it's heartbreaking to see the young bride of uh, uh, Officer uh, of Liu course, to、yeah. um, to have to go endure that.、Um, What happened to her husband?、Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's、um, it's really a tough job,、um, and I think、uh, when 
an officer gets killed in the line of duty, mm -hmm. it brings out uh, a lot of people who either want to support the police or, mm -hmm. or sometimes mm -hmm. tragically want to raise their animus mm -hmm. towards the police. Mm -hmm. um, and so it does generate a lot of interest. You know, um, you know people uh, uh -huh. want to make a statement about whether they support the police. Or sure, of course. Of course we support our police department, and I, at least I do, I know I do. And we as an organization, we do that too. Mm -hmm. Uh, if not New York PD, at least we do to our local law, law enforcement. That's not a question. Question is that to to analyze the event, you find out the extraordinary scale, the extraordinary uh, magnitude of the funeral itself. Question is that to every officer in New York PD who gets killed on the job. Mm -hmm were given the same kind of funerals? Or is that a tradition to every officer, they equally bury him in the same way? They do. Um, you know, foundationally, the police department has its own protocols for each uh, police-related funeral. Mm -hmm. um, some things are beyond their control. They don't always have the uh, ability to determine how many people will show up and mm -hmm. respond to a particular funeral. All right. But there are procedures and protocols and uh, 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 efforts that are done uh, that are officially done by the police department mm -hmm. to assure that the officers get the appropriate uh, funeral. Oh yeah, of course. And the funeral, the service, and the dignity, and everything we're talking about right. were done in the right way, in the yes. proper way, right? Mm -hmm. I'm saying that is that the only way? Or, well, to, to, to stretch the whole thing to cover LA, uh, I mean New York PD in the past though, was every officer who was killed given the same kind of a service. I would Almost expect they would. Same large scale. Yes, I would expect they would be. If it was an on-duty um, mm -hmm. tragic shooting or death, um, mm -hmm. I believe they are. I see. Um, mm -hmm. But as, um, as um, things go, some of them don't mm -hmm. get quite the spotlight. And mm -hmm. In this case, it's, um, you know, it was a, a, a very tragic murder uh, mm -hmm. committed on two innocent officers just simply sitting in their car. Mm -hmm. Sometimes those... Uh, those kinds of circumstances mm. would probably generate more interest. What exactly happened at the moment when Officer Liu and Officer Ramos were were slain uh, on duty? As I understand it, they were sitting in a marked uh, New York police uh, car mm -hmm. near a corner in the Bronx, uh, and they were uh, sitting inside their car mm -hmm. when without uh, any warning, without any provocation, without any indication um, a person walked up to their car mm -hmm. on the passenger side mm -hmm. and shot both of them uh, as they sat in their cold police blood. Cold blood. In cold blood. blood. Yeah, yes. yeah. So by police protocols they were uh, they were determined as killed in action. Am I right? Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, my understanding was is that they were at a um, uh, an overtime assignment Mm. working an anti-terrorist uh, drill mm. that the city was conducting, the, the police department, mm -hmm. and um, so that's um, what see. happened. So back to, uh, I mean, probably we do not know as much we do know our, we know our own PD, right? Okay. So back in your time though, in Santa Monica PD, did you have any officer killed on duty? During my time at the police department, it did not occur. I see. It did not we occur. Had no. it, through our history, we, oh, we've you're, had you're, us. you're lucky. You're lucky. Mm. Yeah, we did but, not see. But that. when the protocols are concerned, if anybody get killed, so what? What do we have? What do we need to do to to the honor of this officer? I think uh, obviously the community uh, mm. comes out and in support of those officers mm. and. Uh, mm. And they often do, intend in large numbers. Mm -hmm. And uh, fortunately, it hasn't occurred that often here mm -hmm. uh, in uh, California. I see. But when it does occur, it, it, it does uh, mm -hmm. cause a lot of people mm -hmm. to come out and attend. It was on the news that uh, uh, his widow uh, benefits his salary in full 100% the rest of her life. 
-hmm. and also his medical benefit the rest of her life, right? So is it common everywhere to each department? Uh, I believe that there are some uh, benefits that are accorded to somebody who dies in the line of duty and their and their widow or their mm -hmm. close relatives. Mm -hmm. I'm not familiar with what she got uh, specifically as mm -hmm. part of her benefit package mm -hmm. for her being a widow. I see. But it does occur. Uh -huh. In your PD, though, I um, mean, Santa Monica Police Department, mm -hmm. do you have protocols like of the same thing or similar? Yes, yes we do. Yeah. yeah, to officers who who died on duty. And their spouses, and their spouse, mm -hmm. the spouses, that benefits from 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 one hundred percent of the salary. Well, I wouldn't know about that. that. Uh, I no, I, I don't know exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm sure there are some um, burial benefits and mm -hmm. and other benefits that are given uh, to someone who falls in the line. I see. All right. So to my audiences, uh, today we have invited my good friend, Mr. Joe Gardner a long-time service member of uh, Santa Monica PD for 27 years, and he's now retired, yet he's not retiring from everything. He retired from the PD, but he gets on, preparing himself for public office. Later, we will let him make the announcement. So now we're talking about the New York PD event with the funeral given to Officer Wenjian Lu, and we, because there, there, there are comments, there are comments from different corners, there are different talks about it, and there might be some message that we can learn from. So to get to that point, we will continue talking. Back, let's take a short moment out.